Zoe and Gillies. The Capital Breakfast Show. So here we are at the BIC with the Wanted. Oh, I'm so excited to see you guys. I know, I know. What's What's been going on this morning? Um, we have been just recovering from last night doing a show and we're getting ready to do tonight's show. Did you Did you have a party last night? Um, we party every night. It's kind of an ongoing thing because it's just too cool for school. <laughs> and, you know, we want to invite everyone to our parties. Everyone. On the bus, it was great. Where our tour manager kept playing really old music and we had to guess what year and what the song was called. And it went on until about three or four. Oh. Uh, it was our security Kev because he's old enough to know when like the smash advert was and, and that sort of thing. But I got number one, I got number two, rank two. Jay oh, just, Jay just trying to... Rank two in the second got, round. Jay got three. Yeah, he did. I did. Steve, I was reading that you got locked in a cupboard on the American side. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't. Yes, that's that's <laughs> that happened. But I, I was just seeing if I could fit in the cupboard, and then Jay locked me in, so I was stuck in a tour bus what? cupboard. What's hilarious is that Siva was fooled by Siva. Do you think you could fit in there, or is it too small? And she was like, no, I could. I was like, I don't know if you could. Oh, no, no, I could. And he got in, I was like, well, I'm going to shut it and sit in front of it, aren't I? Yeah, see, 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 there, was, there was no lock in the door, so I thought, you know what, what's the ham? And then he sat beside it, and he's like as heavy as 20 stone, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't get out for like. <laughs> I couldn't, I was sucking that. I've got cramp, it's not funny anymore, okay? I've got cramp. <laughs> it's hilarious. Is there a bit of a pattern? Did you guys get stuck in the lift as well? Yeah, we did. I it was horrible. The photo, you the it, so it came on towards five hours. It's more like four and a half. Five hours. Yeah. What did you do? Well, we, we played. <laughs> we, what was weird is we were in our record label in America, and we came down. We just got the news that we were doing the Chelsea Lately show, and we all screamed and we're jumping on the spot. And then this guy like put the tan away. Everyone was going, "Is there a problem?" And we were like, "The lift's stuck," you know, because you were jumping around like idiots. And we're like, "Oh, sorry." Um, and then because we were stuck between two floors. He couldn't just come with a key and open it because it would open onto a wall. Uh, so we had to wait until a technician was ready to come and open it for us and get the. Did you have any food? No. We had Did music. Did nobody carry any food at the Seven. time? Gas. That's what oh, no, I didn't have gas. Oh, that was no. Tom. Tom had gas. And he was standing and all of us were sitting. <laughs> sitting so you so can see how that I mean, worked. Everyone thinks that when you're in a lift, you're going to look up and open a hatch. We all looked up and were like, can't be bothered. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Just> too scary. No, you no, I think, I think I'm, I'm consistently annoying, but everyone else fluctuates to be more annoying or less annoying, but I'm consistently quite annoying. Yeah. That's good going, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And um, having come back from America, did you uh, bring any Jeep Freeze back? <laughs> I brought some um, Cheetos back. Cheetos. That you, um, what, you went to Duty Free and you bought some Cheetos. <laughs> That's disappointing. Yeah, you, this is a question for Jay. Well, I'm, I'm, a, a, I'm pro alcohol. I'm also, <laughs> I'm also pro choice. Uh, so yeah, I, I had a bit of booze. Oh yeah, they oh, are very American. They are. From our first basketball experience. In Detroit. Yeah, Detroit, the Detroit Pistons. Versus the Miami Heat. Miami Heat is LeBron James. Oh yeah, I've been to see the Miami Heat play. Did you enjoy your basketball? Yeah, it was I thought it was good. amazing out there. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, loved it. It is. It's so sexy. All the music and then firing T-shirts out. Yeah. There's those long, long legs. Sexy legs. If Capital did basketball shorts, that's it. It is the colours. Put your put your shorts on. You can put them on over the top if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Tom brought back like what was it? Was it on, on, on that trip? Tom brought back a lot of alcohol. And, and, and security Kev had to divide between them how many cigs they wanted because you can only take like a certain amount. But they worked it out and they got a serious amount. Back. Yeah, so Tom put like four oh, bottles. Tom, yeah, Tom put like four bottles of gin and a few bottles of whiskey in, in, in the suitcase and they smashed on the way back. Oh. He didn't even protect them, he just left the glass in his suitcase. So he took it out and it was dripping like a big trail of whiskey. <laughs> 
and then opposite it reeked and Tom just kept on retching like and then the security is coming over and he's like no sir no sir I'm just a bit, uh, a bit sick uh, and then he just walked out with just a trail of whiskey all the fans are like what the hell was that nothing now I believe as well that you were getting a bit of loving out in uh, I've America I've got a lot more in America than the UK no, just because of my accent I was saying that it's over here I have to rely on looks and personality but in America I can just talk and they're like oh my god so funny not all of them <laughs> but some of them were we were reading that um, even like no one's off limits like older people welcome is this true age is a number I think and just go with the feeling okay but which age wouldn't be just a number 85 Madonna's like 85 and she looks great <laughs> <laughs> The question that I should be asking, would you go with Zoe? <laughs> no, that is it's not the question. It's not the Alice on camera. Oh, Brian. Right. Oh, oh, no, you're not let's go. I didn't expect that. I just gave, somehow, she gave birth to a football. I'm literally at the end of that now. It that's, good. that was hilarious. Jay just spanked Zoe. If any, that's, if that's... any fans are watching, can we get that bit of video on repeat? <laughs> that, has, that has to go onto Tumblr, seriously, make that happen. Um, I but, have no more questions. Just... <laughs> Getting things on video, last time we chatted to you, uh, we, oh, before the interview started, you were saying, oh, was it Max and Siebert? Max and Siebert kiss with tongues, do da, do da. <laughs> yeah. Any chance you can do the video for that? We've been playlisting that song. Yeah, I think, I think uh, if I sing it, you two should reenact it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, we need to get it to our website. <laughs> <laughs> on our last chance. Nah, I need at least four. Two pints. Right? One. <laughs> <laughs> two pints. <laughs> two pints. <laughs> Be a half a point for me, man. So you've got to be, um, I don't know, amazed and over the moon with the reaction over in America. Absolutely. How does it feel? It's re it feels just crazy. It just started from radio play. I mean, glad you came was received so well. And then Ellen heard of us and she welcomed us officially to America, which is surreal. And uh, then Chelsea lately heard of Ellen. And then it went just, it just snowball from there. And then we were going back over for Jay Leno and spring break and it's just like how is this happening i mean we're just we look at us i mean just look at us we're just messy old chavs but somebody said it's like you you guys in america they're not used to you because they're used to sort of perfect boy bands and you lot are like herding kittens into a bath because <laughs> you're so naughty is that sort of animal cruelty <laughs> we're like animal cruelty uh, I think, you know what, we were really actually quite nervous about that. We always believed in the songs and the music because we just think they're great and we, we were really happy the, ra the radio agreed and decided to push it so hard but we were nervous that we'd ruin it because we'd be making mistakes and not dancing and not what they wanted, you know what I mean? They didn't, oh that wasn't a wanted pun either, but uh, they actually, it was the opposite. They reacted more to all the flaws that you lot like and we were really relieved, genuinely like, I can't believe we don't have to change, it's really cool. I love Glad You Came, it's just Brilliant. Yeah. Like, are you scared now? You've had this success in America. You're like, what do we do next? Well, you, you know, know what? Sort of we've game. had that feeling before. When we got All Time Low at number one, we thought, will we ever top this? And we did loads of singles, and they all, I mean, they sold more, but then didn't always chart higher. And in the end, you realise, as long as we're still getting enough by to keep on going, that's all you can do. And, and we got Gadget Came, which was even bigger, and then that got big in America, which was even bigger. And we've been here before where we don't know how we can top it, but somehow, in a, with a bit of time and a, a bit of graft, it just, it just happens. So we just, I don't think we're going to stress ourselves out, we're just going to enjoy it. And Glee. <laughs> Glad you came on Glee. Yeah. Is that just amazing? It's weird. Uh, you know what, I think they saw it on Ellen, uh, someone spoke to them about us and, and they didn't really know much about us, but they knew the song really well, which pretty much everyone in America is like that. Um, and so they researched us, uh, saw some of our online stuff and just said they were big fans and they'd love to do it. So genuinely in America, people take huge shots on new acts and I thought we were so grateful, really, really grateful. Is there, I reckon that you guys would be, if you were in Glee, you'd be the naughty one sat at the back of the class. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think I'd be the one that sings it in the cover. <laughs> I was I was a teacher's pet in school. Just want to mention. Oh, that. were you? Yeah. You're a bit of a swap. Yeah, a bit of a swap. 
Max, for anyone who's still listening, how red is Zoe still, even though she got spanked ages ago? <laughs> I'm so hot this, now. She just, she, just, she just got a spanking of a lifetime off Jay. You can just, you can put that down, bookmark that. Right, enough yeah. now. Now we talked about the music, but there's a whole empire going on now. The dolls, the wanted dolls. Do you all have yeah. a set of your own dolls? Uh, I have two in my house. Do you? Yeah, I have one of me and one of Tom. I don't know how. Oh, Tom's your favourite, is he? Yeah, I make them do really weird things. <laughs> <laughs> I have a thing, like, I always used to do, as soon as I my sister had a doll, first thing I'd always do... Rip the head off? No, 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 before that, when before that, I'd just... Take off the clothes? Exactly. Ah. Uh, did you do that to your own dolls? We did, instantly. It's the first thing we ever <laughs> Yeah, we did. Get the And we were like, what? Oh, come on. <laughs> What's <laughs> that? We actually... Made properly in that. <laughs> one actually, of them was weird. We actually requested actual size down below, but <laughs> they couldn't afford the amount of to put down there, so you know we had to just remove it. You know. Who's selling the best? I mean, and do you get like a daily text? Actually, we don't. I'll, we'll find out, and we'll I don't know tweet the results then because I don't know. But I'm going to assume it's Nathan. I'm going to assume it's not me. Why? Why? Yeah. yeah. Well, what child wants? Like a run down, really old looking action man. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a really uh, poor action man? Have you got the eyes going with the button at the back? It's terrible. <laughs> but my action man did look a bit like you, except I tried to cut his hair. I didn't, I was little and I didn't know it didn't grow back and add a oh. chip of hair out okay. of it. Oh. Oh. I'm on that note. Well, <laughs> you know, I saw in Tesco the other day the JLS dolls, they, had, they were half price. Well, you don't want to see that, though. If you haven't got a doll in the shops, you don't want to see it at half price. Well, they've been out for like. Oh, well, that should be cleared off the shelves. Those dolls have been out. Those JLS dolls have been out for like two years now. I mean, they've sold a lot. Oh, they're old. Be <laughs> Vote, <if more. laughs> Move on. <laughs> uh, now we do. Uh, what's your problem on the show? I wonder if you would give one of our listeners a bit of advice. Okay. So if you listen to the problem, then we'll have your advice after. Is that all right? Uh, Gillies? Dear Zoe and Gillies, I drive to work every day and always pass the same guy at a bus stop. I think he's fit, exactly my type. We've caught eye contact a few times and he always smiles. I think there may be some sort of connection there, but how do I, have, how do, I do anything about it? I'm in my car and he's sat by the side of the road. How do I talk to him? Well, don't, don't, don't associate yourself with tramps on the side of the road. It's not a good thing. <laughs> Wait for a bus. Speaking from experience. <laughs> I think attach a huge sign to your car saying, man at the bus stop, I fancy you, and then have hundreds of your number written on confetti, and as you drive past, release them, and hopefully you'll get the message. If not, then he possibly blind, and if you're up for a life of looking after a man who has no sight, then uh, get out of your car and go and talk to him. OK, concise. Any, any advances on that? Oh, you're going to bounce off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can just offer him a lift, mate. Well, not me. Oh, that's really, a good one. That is that's a, a good one. great yeah, that is piece of advice. Really you know what? We went... <laughs> so slick. I... We were... For an hour, <laughs> doing it? a sign, writing my number and over and over again, and you just say, do you want a lift? It was very extreme there, Max. You, you were very smooth. Yeah, that's natural. You can't learn that. But how do you start talking to a girl? You just introduce yourself. And then... Hi, I'm from the Wanted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Done. Bad name before <laughs> birth name <laughs> is helpful. <laughs> Since you're number one. <laughs> <laughs> Since before that, and that yeah. never worked then either. <laughs> now, to go with our bootleg album of Max and Seba Kiss With Tongues, yeah. could you possibly make up another song for us? Just like I said, we're you know, looking to drive a hit to our website, the unofficial Wanted album, the songs you haven't heard before. OK. Seba has the smoothest... Do da, do da. I'm talking about his action figure, Seavers. 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 Seavers, guys, it's smooth as Seavers. It's a hit. It's a hit. It's a hit. Okay, Engelbert could do that a euro. It's hilarious. It's like a spoof of real life, but it's not. It's real life. <laughs> Engelbert Humperdinck up against Jedward. Because I, mean? I don't really, I don't really know about. That's this. not his real name. Okay, I don't really know about this Engelbert Humperdinck. Yeah, I just think similar vein as Tom Jones, I think. Oh. Yes, but slightly different. But that's not his real name. Why would you come up with Engelbert Humperdinck? You must be well, drunk. No, no one else has got it. Well, he's got it right on Google, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can spell it. Nobody's going to be able to say it at Eurovision. Well, we got it wrong. I remember for the first year and now, as soon as you started the wanted in, it was like... The film? 
No, it was just the uh, the what's it, wasn't it? All the faces. Oh yeah, all the, the what, all the people in America that were like stabbed someone and stuff. It was that for years. I can't remember. Have you been on the most wanted in the world? That's, like that's what it linked to. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, going on oh, there just when I'm bored. Just in case I'm more <laughs> Southampton or Portsmouth and I spot someone. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm performing a citizen's arrest! <laughs> <laughs> you know, someone's on crime boxes. If you see this man, do not approach him. What problems were they having? Were people rugby tackling? <laughs> 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 just punching them in the street. No, it was people like in the problem. They're stopping and going, "Do you want a lift?" Oh. <laughs> yeah, you've got the uh, tour now. After are you doing any festivals this year, you guys? Um, I know we're doing Tea in the Park uh, in Scotland, which is going to be cool. I can't wait to do that because hopefully, once we come off stage, we can just jump in the crowd and, and watch the rest of the acts. That'll be good. You when you get mobbed, though. Um, no, I think it the, in the crowd. It depends. But Tea in the Park has been renowned for being. A heavy against uh, pop acts, but I think if we go out there and wasn't that just Daphne and Celeste that got like bottles of wee chucked at them? That was red in well, festival. Much everyone's like, if I like the song, I'm going to dance to it. And plus, yeah. if anyone starts on it, we'll just batter them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Daphne and Celeste song. You ugly. Who stick you, your mama too? Mm. And your daddy. Yeah. I was gonna see, speaking of uh, Daphne and Celeste, Parade are on tour with you. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gilly's clock that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're, they're they're fun on a night out, but uh, oh, their set list is awful, and they're just the most unattractive girls I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, poor you, yeah, eh? The wings go boo. <laughs> <laughs> I actually go on uh, go on before they do and just grease the floor in the hope that one of them will trip. <laughs> oh, that was funny the other day. Like we put a load of uh, stink bombs in their uh, dressing room when they were doing sound shop. And then one of them ran in our dressing room and threw one in, like, because he obviously knew we'd done it, and it burst, but it was a dud. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Bass Street kids from the Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just mention something? Uh, Jay went into Parade's uh, dressing room. Can I mention this, Jay? Is this okay? Yeah, yeah, just tell us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay went to do. Jay went just re- just recently. Jay went to do parades dressing room. Um, had a dump in one of the bins, which the bin opens and closes. He proceeded to close the bin, so locking in the smell, and moved the bin beside a radiator. So now they don't know what happened, and they were wondering where the stink came from, but they didn't know there was poo in their bin. So good work, Jay. Jay. Oh my God, that's not true. We're over. Well, it wasn't here, it's fine. But remember, <laughs> they... I remember before, he went, he went in and attempted to do it. He came, came back in, I was like, he'd done it. He was like, mate, what, what, uh, is there any food you can eat to make you more, more fibrous? I was like, why? He said, it's a bit runny. It was grumbling, and I thought, Stop. this is this is not going to... I want it to be a clean prank. You know uh, what I mean? I don't want it to be as, as well, as clean as it can be. Uh, but I just, I just had to wait a few minutes for everything to settle, and then it was great. It was a nice little... One white wonder. <laughs> you wanted a clean prank, and that's what you came up with. Yeah. And I hate it when Jay's doing a dirty prank. Oh my god. <laughs> he spanked you. I know. Sorry. You put on your gravestone. Jamie going to spank this. Zoe and Gillies. The Capital Breakfast Show.